Hey gang, Scott here. Have a review for you today of the Mirrorless Mover V2 bags from Think Tank. I got a couple of them right here, and I'm going to talk about you know why this bag. What would you use it for? What's you know what's its primary use case, and what I normally do with a bag review. The pricing, of course, build construction quality. What do I like about the bag? What do I think could be a little bit improved? That sort of stuff. And uh, you know, hang around to the end. Uh, one of these. I'm going to give away. Uh, I don't need two. I'm going to give one of them away, and so we'll uh, we'll do a giveaway of one of these bags here uh, at the at the end of this video. So uh, so stick around for it. Let's get into it. So first question, at least I always ask myself when I'm looking at a camera bag, like, why why this bag? You know, what are you going to use it for? Why why this particular bag? And for me, the mirrorless movers are like your everyday camera bag where you want to have your camera with you. Uh, you're not necessarily on a purpose built photo trip. Like, you know, if I'm doing a, if I'm out for a, a casual hike, I'm still doing a hike. And so I want like something like a backpack. I might use a photo cross. If I'm going out for, you know, my, my landscape work, I'm a landscape photographer, I'm getting my full on you know, rotation backpack and all my, my gear that I have to have for that landscape work. But if I'm just doing a walkabout in, in a city and light, uh, light travel with you know, a family or friends, maybe just visiting somewhere for the day, I want a lighter weight bag like a mirrorless mover. I can fit a camera, maybe an extra lens, but my, my most versatile lens and a little bit of space for other stuff, a bottle of water, you know, my, my memory, camera cards, all that, you know, all the, the batteries and all the types of things you want there. That's its use case for me. It's your, your everyday type of photo bag where you want your gear with you, you want it protected, and you also want it readily accessible. And so, you know, the mirrorless mover, it ticks all of those boxes for me. Let me start with just overall thoughts about the mirrorless movers. Do I like the bag? What do I think can be improved about the bag? Overall, it's it's solid. I've been very happy. I've used both of them, and uh, I'm I'm happy with you know the the fit and the function. Everything in there is is very very good. Uh, the the stowage and the capacity. We'll talk about that in a moment, and I'll show you the inner pouches and so forth, and how large or small of a bag you might consider it depends on what you want to carry. It, it's comfortable, so it, it fits well. There's a shoulder strap that comes with all of them, so it you know drapes over your shoulder fine. You can just sling it over your shoulder. You can wear it bandolier style. You know, there's there's plenty of room for adjustment on the strap, so you can wear it either way that you like. I'm more of a bandolier style uh, person. I like that it's a little more secure on my person, and uh, that just suits my particular style of photography. Uh, accessing you know, in usability of it, you know, accessing the gear when it's on your, uh, on the side of your body, no problem at all. The, uh, the flap here, it's got this, uh, this little magnetic part to it so that if you're leaving the zippers open while it's around your, uh, your body there, you're just lifting the flap out of the way, getting your camera, taking your shots, and then you, know, you can put it right back away. So all of those things are great. Plenty of, uh, plenty of stowage for additional accessories. Like I said, I'll, I'll get to that in a second. If I had to uh, say, like, you know, what um, what might be, you know, um, a, a con or a, a negative about the bag? Uh, maybe there's 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 two things, and these are these are kind of small, honestly. The first is is that magnetic flap. I'd like those magnets to be just a little stronger. You know, um, if you are leaving the the zippers open and just have the flap over where it's magnetized, if you were to put the bag down and then try to grab it by its top handle those magnets aren't going to hold in place and you could risk, you know, um, you know knocking your, your gear over, having something spill out of your bag. Uh, the second is if you are wanting to close those zippers over and you're wearing the bag, at least when I was wearing it as a bandolier style, I had to kind of support the bag a bit so I could take some, uh, some uh, I guess, tension off of the strap to let me get in there and grab that zipper and bring it around. I noticed that with the 30, this bigger one on the back here, more so. Uh, but you know, those are those are pretty small things, right? There's always something about a bag that's like, well, for me, I'd love it to be just this little bit different. Uh, but but you know that's that's really it. Uh, you know the the bags are solid, and let's let's talk about the the, the lineup next. You know what do we have uh, available to us here with these bags? There are a variety of different sizes. 
you've got the 5, the 10, the 20, the 25, and the 30. And as you might guess, the smaller the number, the smaller amount of space in the bag, and the larger the number, the larger the space. I'll just hover over these as I'm talking here. You know, the 5, you can see, really single camera, single lens, a little bit of space for your batteries and memory cards. You know, very, very compact, very tight kit. The 10 a little bit bigger, so maybe a little bit of a larger camera body. Now, this is your smaller mirrorless. This is your you know, little larger. You can see that's a little bit of a bulkier you know, type of a, a body there. You get into the 20, and you have space for you know a mounted lens, depending on the lens, and as well as space for another lens. You know, so that's this bag here. That's the 20. So you can get an idea of you know the the, the size of the 20 here compared to my hand. You know, it's about the size of my hand. But uh, there's there's like my hand this way and my hand this way, so you've got a good space there. You get into the 25, and you're now accommodating your longer lenses. And of course, as each one goes up, you have you know more zipper storage in the in the flap there. And then the 30, which is okay, I can carry a bunch. I've got you know my camera with a lens mounted and maybe a couple of other lenses. And this is the 30 back here, so you know. A little bit of a larger bag so that gives you the idea of you know the sizes and so forth what could you put in these and of course all the details are on think tanks website and you know back to take a quick peek at the pricing here too you know we're looking at anywhere from a little less than fifty dollars us up to a little less than eighty dollars us for these different bags so pretty good value for for what you're getting from the bag and now let's talk about the pouches and the stowage and what you've got in these bags. I'll use the 20 to show this off here. So let me open this up. There's that flap. You can see that it's got zippers on either side. That's where you're going to close securely this flap. And on the top, there's your zipper pouch. You can see through, and you can also see that this is all ripstop, so you know, a very sturdy construction. And the, the insides here, I've got it set up as three chambers. There are other Velcro inserts. This is all Velcro. You can move everything around to suit your needs. And then at the very front, you've got another zipper pouch, which has in and of itself more pockets and so forth. And something else that's nice is inside each one of them, there's a rain cover. And it's, you know, it's kind of secured in there. So if it starts to rain, you can whip that out, cover your bag, and uh, not have to worry about anything getting getting wet. And you know, if you heard, there's those little magnets there where eh, maybe that came through on the mic, maybe not. It's, uh, it's a little bit of that satisfying thunk as it closes down. So what we would expect from a think tank bag, configurable, plenty of space for the accessories. You can tailor the inside to fit the gear that you need and change it if your gear changes or your needs change. A build construction. I mentioned the ripstop. Uh, it's, it's a think tank bag, folks. Of course, you know, it's, it's, it's very well constructed. You know, all the stitching is doubled. You know, these, uh, these little metal guys here, that's where your, uh, your shoulder strap is going to connect to. And so that's a, you know, a very secure, you know, latched type of connection to it. Um, I, I, I can't even tell you that, you know, th there's nothing about the bag that I can find a problem with. It does even also have, you know, the ability to go on a belt. If you don't like the shoulder strap, you've got a belt loop that you can wear it, you know, on your belt if you like that. Zippers are solid. It just, it's solid, solid construction. I, there's a reason that I use Think Tank for carrying my gear. I trust it. It's protected my gear for years and years, and every bag I've ever had from Think Tank has been no exception. The mirrorless mover lives up to that expectation. So that is the mirrorless mover from Think Tank, a very solid walk-around camera bag. You want to have a lightweight bag that's with you for the day, your camera, maybe an extra lens depending on what you're carrying. This is a good, good bag for that. And uh, I know I'll be putting uh, mine to good use on upcoming travels. I, I promised you a giveaway. So I'm going to give away this one here. This is the, the mirrorless mover 20 in this, uh, this, this green accent color. So how we'll do this is, uh, in the show notes, you will find a link to the blog post that accompanies this this video on my website. And there, there'll be a form that says, you know, think tank giveaway. You can click on that. Give me your name, give me your email address, and that will tell me you're interested in being in the running for the bag. We'll run that form through the 10th of February of 2024. And so uh, at the end of that, then I'll get everybody that submitted their uh, their information. 
randomize it. You know, the, the, the computer will pick a winner and then I'll let you know. I'll contact you through email and uh, you can get me your, your shipping information. I'll get this out to you. And that's going to do it for the review. I hope you've enjoyed it and you got any other questions, drop them below. And until next time, my name's Scott Davenport. Have fun.